Welcome back to more Legacy of the Duelists, everyone. So in the last episode, oh my bad, it's Link Evolution, by the way, not the original one. Uh, but in the last one, we um, essentially did, I believe it was three of them, a new breed of heroes schooling the master and blinded by the light. This time we're going to be doing Duel for Hire, so let's take a look at this. Dr. Crowler and, and Vice Chancellor Bonaparte waltzed into Chancellor Shepard's office bragging about their victories in the GX tournament. Okay. So, let's see. Huh. So they're just arguing back and forth with each other, right? Wow. <laughs> Alright. What the heck? Maximilian is here. Hmm. You fill out an application. <laughs> All right, fine, you're both hired. Really? Hold on. You must first prove yourself by defeating me. Okay. So, um... Wait, what am I doing? Sorry, my bad. That, that was the other menu. All right, so we're going to be using Story Dag. So this one, if Pegasus ends up winning, and we're taking... Wait, but wasn't it a handicap? No, it wasn't a handicap. It was two different duels, right? I don't remember this, actually. I'm going to go second. I always prefer to go second, of course. All right, let's see what we got here. Interesting. What is that card? Shadow Toon. I know what these are, and these are actually some good stuff here. Hopefully I have Toon Kingdom, though. Ancient Gear Drill. And that was an Ancient Gear Castle that was set. Okay. Hmm. If you control an Ancient Gear... Monster, discard one card, set one spell card for directly from your deck, and that spell card cannot be activated. Okay. If you control Toon World, target one phase of monster opponent controls and flick damage to your opponent equal to the attack of that phase of monster. You can only activate one Shadow Toon. Mm, okay. So, I'm gonna activate Toon Table of Contents because I actually want to see what I'm working with here. Um. Okay, these are garbage. Toon Cyber Dragon is actually pretty cool. I might take two in Cyber Dragon. Or two in Dark Magician Girl also works. Because that one can actually... Well, no, but I would have to... Okay, so luckily... He has all the... Yeah, okay. I'm going to go with the two in Cyber Dragon. Because I did draw into two Kingdom already. I don't know what else I want right now, though. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and not do that. But I'm going to activate two Kingdom first. Alright, so banish three cards face down. Uh, then I'm going to activate, I guess I'll do Shadow Tomb. Sure. So this will do 1800 damage to the opponent. Not a really good card, but whatever. I am going to special summon Toon Cyber Dragon specifically. And then I can actually normal summon that one. Alright, and that's going to be it. Yeah, because again, I don't know what, I'll, what I want. But basically, Toon Kingdom has some protection. Your opponent cannot target two monsters when you control with card effects. If a Toon monster... Uh, wait, sorry. If, if a Toon monster you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish one card from the top of your deck face down for each of those... Okay. I'm just going to activate this shit. So I don't keep getting the alert every time. Ancient Gear Castle, okay. Wait, so you're saying I can banish? Wait. Monster you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect. Okay, so how do I do that? Yes, use that. So I'm gonna banish one card face down, but still take the damage. Okay, now I cannot activate back row. Hmm. I have Toon Goblin Attack Force now. So both of these monsters can attack directly. 
I'm gonna start by doing that. All right, so yeah, so attack directly. 21, and then you can also attack directly, and that's actually going to do or make you discard a card as well. Yes. Okay, that was a regular ancient gear. And main phase two, I suppose I shall summon Tomb Goblin Attack Force. And end the turn. Wait, no, I can't keep doing this wrong, hold on. There we go, do that. Oh gosh, I just got an email from somebody that's... Oh man, I have to read this while I'm recording, yes, exactly. I, mm, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool, sorry about that. I was, um, that was kind of a vital, vital email, that's for sure. I'm gonna enter battle phase here. And I'm going to attack directly with Toon Goblin Attack Force, and that's going to be game right there. Oh my god, Toons are so fun. I mean, they're not amazing, and they actually need some more support to actually be able to be utilized much more effectively, but it's not bad. Okay. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Wow, Chancellor Shepard. Heart of Ice. After Alexis fell under control of the Society of Light, <clears throat> Jaden discovered that many more students were under the same spell. Alexis challenged Jaden to a duel. Jaden knew that the only way he could save his friend from the Society of Light was to defeat her. Okay? Or maybe the dumbest uh, story deck. So, here's the thing. Do I finally have Neo Spatians? I don't know. I don't know when this happens. When does this whole Neo Spatian thing transition happen? I have no idea. But hopefully, it's starting this duel. I just want to see them, you know? Nope. Yeah, but in a way, it's kind of good because Neo Spatian suck ass. Well, I mean, some of them are good. Like, Neo Spatian Grand Mole is actually a really good card. And a few others have seen some more use, like Aqua Dolphin recently. But it's still very situational. Graceful Charity, nice. Alright, so. The fact that I have these cards, I believe, shows that I have Hero Flash, probably. Oh, what the heck? I do have Flare Neos, so I do have the Okay. Hmm. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, look at the top card of their deck, then return that card to either the top or the bottom of their deck. Luckily, it's not a very good card. Okay, so what I can do... I'm going to use Graceful Charity here. Draw three. Obviously, I'm going to discard Necro Shade because this thing only has a graveyard effect. Then I can normal summon one level 5 or higher E Hero monster without tributing once while it's in the graveyard. Um, I might also want to get rid of H Heated Heart because that thing is not that good. Um, obviously, I'm keeping Mirror Force and the Spark Mans. So it's either H Heated Heart or Negate Attack. Um, I'll get rid of H Heated Heart. I'm going to summon a Spark Man. And basically, swing for an attack here. Minus 200, nice. Alright, main phase 2. Let's go ahead and set both of these cards. I'm pretty sure I have Hero Flash in this deck. I mean, they already gave me an H and an O. Um, which, surprisingly, are the two worst ones. Uh, e, Emergency Call, and R, Righteous Justice are just better cards. Although, O over is not horrible if you're using these... Oh god, what the hell? That's fine. What did this card do? You can discard the target one face up place an ice counter on that target. This card gains 300 attack for each. Wait, who has a thing? How can I tell who has a thing? Oh, this one. Place an ice counter on that target. Target one face up monster on the field. This card gains for each ice counter on the field. I'm just gonna destroy the two of you right now, rather than negating it, negating the attack. Okay. Draw into a Call of the Haunted. Okay, so I can't use any of those, these revival cards as of now. 
but I am gonna set this. I can't even use. I mean, I have a lot of things going. I have two revivals on my hand, and I have a necro shed on the on the graveyard that can also do something. But I'm not using that because I don't have to right now. I'm gonna do another 3,200 damage this turn, which is good for me. And I am going to end the turn right there. Okay, negate attack and call the haunted. Oh, sorry. I think I just made a huge noise. I, I apologize for that. I think the microphone. I accidentally hit it really quickly. Um, no, I don't want to do this yet. Okay, just hold B. Alright, what are you doing? Defense mode? And that's it. Okay. Well, another clutch draw. I will go ahead and activate that. Hmm. Let's see. When this card is summoned, change the defense position. When a face-up monster you control is targeted for an attack, you can change the target to this card. When this card is targeted for an attack, you can choose a number from 1 to 3, then send that many cards in the top of your deck to the graveyard. This card gains 500 defense for each... It's very situational-ish, I suppose. I'm going to summon Neil Spatian Air Hummingbird. And just swing for some attacks here. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Snow Dragon. Place one ice counter on each face-up monster on the field. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Do that, and then... Do that. Another 800. Go into main phase 2, and then I'm gonna activate the effect of Neo Spatian Air Hummingbird. Once per turn, I can gain 500 life points for each card in the opponent's hand. And... Yeah. We'll go from there. By the way, I didn't activate Call of the Haunted because it would not have given me the, the win this turn. Because all I have is Necro Shade, and that's not enough damage to the 2200, which is the life points that Alexis has left. But now it's over regardless, so I'm just gonna go ahead and enter. That was a really easy victory. 16, and then another 16, and that's it. Okay, here we go. What happened? Wow, he's so positive sometimes, freaking Jaden. Tough love. The next GX duel was between Zane and Cyrus, the Battle of Brothers. Ooh, okay. Guardian Kai Caius. Wait, please tell me I'm Zane. Oh my god. Oh, thank god. Jesus. I don't want to face stupid roids. What the hell? What am I going to do? I want to use my... Well, actually, I think Zane has Cyber Darks now, so that's not good. Yeah, god damn it. These cards also suck. What am I gonna do? Hmm. So basically, Zane got a downgraded deck from the old one. Pot of Avarice. That thing's useless right now. Um. So I can't really. Fusion summon one Cyberdark from your deck by returning one of each of Cyberdark Horn, Edge, and Kill from your hand graveyard go to the deck. Okay. Hmm. My best bet is to just summon Exploder Dragon. And attack into that. Okay. Well, at least I don't take any battle damage, but um that's kinda not good. Stealthroid. Alright. Are you not gonna attack me? I guess not. Hmm. Because you see, somehow I have to get this thing to the graveyard, so I think the best way to do this. Discard this turn battle, destroy the monster that destroyed it, and then neither player takes. So this card attacks, destroy one spell or trap card. Okay, so I, I think my best bet here is to just go ahead and swing for an attack. What is that? What? Wait, I, I have to see this. What was that? When your opponent declares an attack while you, while you only... While the only monsters you control are machine type void monsters, draw two cards. Hmm, okay, that's actually pretty damn good. Main phase two. 
I am going to target um, gains attack equal to the original attack of the monster equipped, which is a thousand. Inflict three hundred. Uh, wait, this uh. So this one can only attack. It can attack directly. Its attack is halved. The fuck. So I just summon this thing then. Oh, I guess I'll summon Keel. I don't know, man. I don't freaking know. I'm gonna target Exploder Dragon, so that's gonna be an 1800 attacker now. With that, and that's actually all I can do right now. Power bond, interesting. Four. Well, I think I lost. Pretty sure I lost. God, why did they give me stupid cyber darks, man? Super vehicle still. That's a seven thousand two hundred attacker. I'm just saying. Also, I've never seen that card ever be like properly summoned. Hmm. What? Oh, I can't attack in that turn, huh? Right? Wait. He... Hold on. Why didn't he, um... When this card attacks, its original attack is halved until the end of the damage step. And then it basically has piercing. You can select one face up and equip it to this card. Okay, that's interesting. Well, luckily for me, I have an Exploder Dragon. So, I could just ram this thing into that, right? And we're good? I'm pretty sure. And I take no battle damage. And I can attack with you. Ah, oh, damn it. Are you serious? Okay, fine. At least you're using all these cards. I mean, Magic Cylinder is no longer a viable card. Not really good because it's a minus one. Which, long term, is actually kind of a problem. Which is why it doesn't see that much more play anymore. Because it's just a bad card nowadays. Defense mode. Alright, please don't be a stupid truck void or something. Something garbage. Twin headed behemoth. Okay, well. I'm gonna have to summon this twin headed behemoth because I have to get it to the graveyard eventually. Or, I mean, I could, I could summon Ex Cyber Dark Edge, but that's. An 1800 I can attack? Eh, that doesn't seem very good. I honestly don't know what the hell I'm doing here, people. Okay, well, that's good. And I can do 300 damage. And then 200 Behemoth, another 15. And the turn. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got this. I don't think... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Unless that face down is something... Amazing on your end. Ooh, an Infernal Dragon. Once per turn during the end phase of this card, attack this turn, destroy this card. When this card in the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you contribute one monster. Special summon this card from the graveyard. Hmm, interesting. Alright, let's put an attack for 15 and then 18, and that should be game right there. And that's it, yep. Alright. Meanwhile, Maximilian Pegasus met with Chancellor Shepard. Alright. He wants an update on the GX tournament. Hmm. I see. Are they talking about plasma? Is it Destiny Hero plasma? It actually might be. Hmm. Okay, uh, next up is, ooh, the Hand of Justice, all right. After Phoenix soon learned who the Destiny card had corrupted, it was Sartorius. Now knowing the truth, Aster confronted Sartorius who was controlled by the Light of Destruction. Okay. Aster lost his duel against Sartorius, it was up to Jaden to defeat Sartorius and save him from the Light of Destruction. What? Alright, well here we go. Another duel. 
Blaster, Dragon Ruler of Inferno. So that's one of the four banned Dragon Rulers. Well, actually, only three are banned now. They unbanned one of them, I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna go second. Okay, I got a Graceful Charity. That's a great start right there. So, oh my god. Wait, do you have it? Oh my god. Head, head. Shit. That's not good. That would have been so good for me as a start. Damn it. Okay. Pay 500 life points to special summon a mystic. Okay. Are we gonna do it again? That effect is not once per turn. That's why the Agent of Creation Venus is actually one of the best the Agent cards because you can just spam a bunch of monsters. Yeah, see? In one turn. And there you go. Hmm. Alright, well, that's what I can do here. Neo Spatian Glow Mosque. That thing is pure garbage. Um, okay, I'm gonna start with Graceful Charity. I have a Skyscraper. And what is this? When an elemental hero monster you control is destroyed by battle, you can, your opponent chooses and reveals one random card from your hand. Then if it is an e-hero monster, you destroy one monster your opponent controls and special summon the chosen monster. That looks not so good. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that one, I think. Plus, should I get rid of Glomas? Hmm. Maybe not, though. Maybe I shouldn't, because... If... Oh, man, this is a tough one here. This really is a tough one, though, because I am not in a great position, technically speaking. Uh, one thing I can do is I can use H Heated Heart. Oh, I'm sorry, I keep... Oh, I shouldn't... Sorry about that. I think I hit the thing. See, I can... So I'm trying to think of what the best possible thing would be here to do, but... Um, I might have to get... Okay, I'm gonna get rid of it. I honestly don't know if that was the best thing. If his attack is lower than the attack... Mm, we're equal right now. Okay, so I can E-Emergency Call. So I have Neos, Necro Shade. It might help to get a Neos. Because I have Neo Space, so that's a good starting point, but do I have... Glo uh, what the hell is it called? Yeah, I have Glow, glow Neos. Okay. Damn. I don't know, man. <laughs> these uh, these cards are not that good. Shit. I need something Spark Man. I'm curious if you're gonna ram into me though. For I'm gonna do that. Okay, that worked. Um, I'm gonna end a turn, because I don't know if I should do Skyscraper or Neo Space, it depends if I can somehow get Neos. If I can get Neos on the graveyard, I can bring it back with Silent Doom and then summon Glow Neos on the same turn, and then activate Neo Space, and I'll have a good monster on the field. But, oh crap, that's not what I needed right now. If this card attacks or is attacked, your opponent draws one- see, this is a horrible effect. That's not worth it at all. Um, I can't do anything this turn except attack another one of those mystical shine balls. I don't have much of a turn here. Well, let's see what happens. Um, I'm not really all that hopeful right now, but I probably should be. I should be a little more positive, right? Okay, you're just defending. That's actually all you're doing, which... Well, but you also sat more stuff. Hmm. Oh my god, seriously? I mean, I'll activate it, sure, in deck thinning, but... Fusion Gate? I guess I... Why did they give you three different field spell cards? This is ridiculous. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me, man. Um... It's getting to the point where now I have to just set something. Because I don't even know what field spell I need to activate first, since none of them are going to be helpful at the moment. Well, okay, I guess that's shit. That just ruined everything. I 
I'm trying to pour zero the fool. That's good for me. So now I what is it? Negate negate your card effects that target this card and destroy them. Alright. So I have Burstinatrix now. But I can't make any plays still. As long as that agent is there, I don't have a card that's strong enough to deal. Hmm. I might have to just ram into it, huh? Because, well, let me attack with Bristinatrix first. Um. I could also just... One thing I can do is I can ram into that. And then just attack with Bristinatrix to that, but I also don't know how scary that would be. Let me attack one of these. That's a marshmallow. See, this is going to be really problem problematic here. Um, I'm going to attack you. Wait, I, I'm so stupid. Technically, I could have used Skyscraper that turn and save us both, but... But see, the issue is I still don't know if that would have been the best move, because what if I then needed to... Okay, that just screwed everything up. You, Of course you top deck that. Kind of force one, the magician. He's not treated opposite. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, people, but I think I lost. I should just re restart, reset. Let's see what I get. That. See, it, it sucks when they give you three copies of Neos, but not a viable way to get them on the field by special summoning them. Um, it, it just, it shows you that, and this is actually going to be one thing that's really consistently a problem for the rest of the GX arc, because on any duel where I'm going to be Jaden, at least until I get evil heroes, I'm going to be forced to use Neo Spatians, which is a huge problem, because Neo Spatians are one of the worst archetypes ever to be released, and it's going to be difficult to win with that, you know? So, we'll see what I can do, but my god. Oh my god, this is bad. They also always get- I've noticed that they always get that luck, too. I don't understand why. I think the game is rigged. Okay, see, that's wrong because of second coin toss. Oh my god! That is the first time, literally the first time, that this guy actually got Cup of Ace wrong. Oh my god, I cannot believe that. Um, I like to make this. Uh, da -da -da -da. you can destroy almost everybody controls and sp Okay, so I have a... Oh my god, just... Okay, there's a pretty good chance of me four out of six. Don't you dare to dispel. Thank you. I get to destroy that. And special summon Avion. Okay, finally things are... Okay, so far I'm getting some good luck. As long as this good luck continues... What the hell just happened? What? Oh. My bad. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. It's not the end of the world, I suppose. Well, actually, no, it totally is the end of the world, because I just lost my one and only monster. Well, no, I have that, and I can... Am I really gonna do that shit? Like, seriously? Like, seriously. I can special summon Avion. Okay. And then basically put that right there. Then I can actually... My only move here is to actually... Tri I'm actually tribute summoning for Necro Shade. Unbelievable. But okay. Then, I'm also gonna go ahead and use All Righteous Justice. Get rid of that, because I don't want any of your bullshit luck right now. And then get rid of that. So now you're gonna be playing with four cards. 
one of the reasons why I'm in this duel right now is because he got Cup of Ace wrong. That's a huge disadvantage to you if you get it wrong. So I got lucky. Oh my god, what are you doing? What is this? Two tributes for the tribute summon of a... Okay, so you're just crashing. Which is fine because I actually can just summon Neos like this. Plus I can activate my Neo space and I just got a Rota. So that's pretty damn good. Gonna do that. I'm also gonna go ahead and summon this card without tributing by using Necro Shade's effect. That's 3,000 right there. Okay. And then... Swing for 3,000. Okay, really good. And it's all down to that Cup of Ace. If I did not get that Cup of Ace... Or if he got that Cup of Ace correct... Um, there's no way I would be in this duel right now. I can't believe it's happening. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna win. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, that better not be a stupid Marshmallow or some bullshit. It probably is. I'm pretty sure he just top decked that, though. Yes! Yes! Finally amazing luck. Oh my god, I cannot believe that shit just happened. Hell no! Um, I'd rather keep that, yeah, because if I then end up... Yeah, it makes more sense to just do this. Activate the effect. And then swing with Neos for 3,000. Wow, that's amazing. Come on, come on, come on, just that, just that. End your turn, end your turn, end your turn. Yes, I win. Oh my god. I can't believe it. I literally can't believe it, but I, I just won. That is amazing. Ooh, that was a tough duel. This is an incredibly difficult duel. Oh my god. I did it. Please beat this guy. I beat Sartorius. Shut the fuck up, dude. After defeating Sartorius, the light of destruction vanished. Sartorius was finally free of his influence. Okay. Hmm. That's it. I'm gonna end it here. So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and a fantastic day.